today I'm at this really cool tattoo shop in Studio City called Studio City Tattoos where I came to film Heather Sin who's a tattoo artist here and today I caught Heather on the perfect day because she's finishing up the back pieces of one of her clients Jesse and it's a huge piece that they've been working on his back for months and today is the day she's finally finishing so let's talk to Heather. How you doing Heather? I'm doing good. Good. How long have you been tattooing for? I've been tattooing for 14 years. I've been drawing since I was a child, drawing, painting, doing stories. So I'd always do little drawings to put with my stories when I was a kid. So tattooing was kind of a natural um, progression. Going from drawing into it was pretty easy for me. So who are you working on? This is your client? This is Jessie. Hi, Jessie. How did you guys come up with the design for Jessie's tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> this is an original idea, right? Actually, we started um, with these panels. Then we did this one first, this was the second one, third one, and then we decided to put this frame around it. And it was kind of, he really left it up to me. And uh, luckily, he liked everything that I was showing him. <laughs> and it just worked out beautifully with all the vines and everything. I mean, it just tied it all together. And it's really artistic with the way it's just kind of a sketched border around everything. <laughs> The black and gray, it's like a really classic look. Yeah, it is. You know? So. And this one's amazing right here. We have it all the way filled in. Oh, this one? This is the... Goy is this called the Goya? No, it's Tom's spot. And, oh, yeah. And Christ, it's the... Christ Child. Christ Child. Child. It's uh, actually from a really old painting. Is that Renaissance era? Mm -hmm. Renaissance era painting. Mm -hmm. So, really classic artwork, you know? Some people kind of get a little afraid to do this kind of reproduction, but I love doing it. It's like one of my favorite things. <laughs> I've tattooed police officers, lawyers, surgeons, scientists, professors, mm -hmm. um, you name it. I've tattooed 80 year old grandmothers and grandfathers, um, nurses, lots of nurses get tattooed. Um, everybody gets tattooed. It's just a matter of who's willing to admit it or not, really. What's the most popular tattoo people come in to get? Well, it's kind of changed over the years. People used to get a lot of tribal tattoos. And then, um, you know, Japanese kanji was really popular for a while. Uh, we still get some of that. Do you get a lot of names? Yes. <laughs> a lot of script. I think that's probably the most popular uh, tattoo out there right now. It's is lettering, names and just phrases and things like that. Do you have to do a lot of cover-ups with people's names? <laughs> yep, I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly do. That's probably the biggest cover-up that we do. I don't even try to talk people out of it anymore. Out of getting people's names? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they're just going to get it anyway and, you know. At least we can usually cover it up. And if we can't, we send them to the laser place. <laughs> what do you recommend to someone who wants to also be a tattoo artist? Well, it's such an oversaturated industry right now, and with the economy and stuff, but um, what I would suggest is well, the first thing you have to do is draw and draw and draw and draw what we call flash sheets. And if you're trying to get an apprenticeship, you need to just be persistent, you know, a lot of doors will be slammed in your face, but if you have a good portfolio of drawings and you have flash um, that's tattooable, you're probably going to get more of a chance. Some places you have to pay for your apprenticeship. Um, you basically, you just have to, if that's really what you want, you just got to go for it and not give up. Is it a way of life or is it just a job, no, being a tattoo a artist? It's a chosen way of life. I don't do the 9 to 5, and I couldn't do the 9 to 5. And I love art, and I love music, and I like to wear what I want, you know, eat when I want, um, listen to what I want. So, tattooing is a way of life. I mean, and the hours are way different than most normal jobs, and I like that. Are you originally from California? No, I'm from um, Michigan originally. So I've been out in California now for... Wow, I don't know, many, many years, <laughs> with a short pit stop in uh, North Carolina, 
and Florida, so I love it out here. Are you from California, Jesse? Oh yeah. Many years. Born bred. Mm -hmm. A native. <laughs> This is an exciting day for Jesse because we're finishing his back today. We're almost done. We do a little and he's done. How long have you been working on his back for? That's one thing that we haven't figured out. I don't know. Off and on. For I mean, with great months, big periods of time in between. more like a year or so. Right? Yeah. Time to draw it better. 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 All right. I think we're done. Yeah. Stand up and check it out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do a stretch? Do a dance? Wow. 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 Get set up an old bit. I have a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. No big deal. Slight redness. Yeah. 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 I love the run in the circle. Wow. Wow. Honestly, what I could say about tattooing for me personally is it. Tattooing has pretty much saved my life on several occasions because when you're in the middle of a tattoo, you are, or for me, I'm completely 100% focused. So I've had a lot of tragedy in my life, a lot of um, hardships, and when I'm working, doing a tattoo, and I'm immersed in it, it completely takes me out of the negativity, out of my head, out of fear and worry, and I'm, I, when I say it saved my life, it, I mean that 100%. Saved my life. So, I love it. <laughs>